Good morning, folks. We are zooming in here on the border between Argentina and Chile. The red alert has been issued. Mandatory evacuations are taking place as a sign of a tremendous eruption or conspicuous. It's mostly an FYI for those of us across the planet. I don't think anyone nearby hasn't heard the news at this point. Mount Gamkonora in Indonesia began rumbling as well with some small emissions present. In Hidalgo, Mexico, a combination of feet of hail, torrential rain, a tornado touchdown, and a landslide have created quite the rescue effort. Also have some extreme weather in Brazil, where strong wind and rain are damaging structures, including some for the upcoming World Cup. No major quaking yesterday, some tremors above average in a few locations, but no major damage, 4.9 in New Zealand a bit ago. Two tropical storms brewing south of Mexico. Now remember folks, I can't show the whole world, but wherever you live, I've got a link that will empower you to stay on point with your local weather. Speaking of local weather, the edge of this pressure convergence is going to visit me in Columbus, Ohio tonight. 14 tornado reports in the U.S., Missouri flooding last night, but no major catastrophes. Wind map shows that convergence coming again tonight, and I think I'm joined in tonight's watch zone by about a quarter of the United States. Had the first gamma burst in a week yesterday, came out of the Capricornus constellation, and in addition to being the temporary celestial house of the moon, it is positioned just past 90 degrees west of the sun in the sky. This means she points at the western limb where our sunspots are heading, heading to die apparently, as good an example of earth-facing sunspot debt as we've ever had. These guys are pretty much done, and on the GOES x-ray flux, shows flares are on the floor. That's okay, because Earth is still dealing with that second wave of a coronal hole stream. The density has died down, but the speedy stream continues. Lower density means intermittent magnetic disturbances only. Plasma is penetrating, there just isn't as much of it. We begin to see higher frequency inductions complementing baseline resonance, but we only saw brief periods of instability the last 24 hours. Top space weather story, however, is our electron storm continuing. Negative energy is higher than yesterday when we were about 10 times normal. Stay positive today, people, if you can. Stereo A, EUVI-195, revealing a beautiful filament eruption on the southern hemisphere. Got two of those filaments on the Earth-facing disk, first one cresting the eastern limb north of the coronal hole. Other one is small, out in front and below the coronal hole. And speaking of that hole, the umbral magnetics indicate that we can't have more than another day or two until that unabated outward magnetic force of the sun points directly at our planet. Electron flux is juiced to the max with our planetary conjunctions lingering at sunset. We'll let the sun set the watch when she fully turns her in. Got some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.